Welcome back to the Grand Turismo Online League. It's time for another Mets Painting Champion Series race. It's race 8 out of 10. Only one other points paying race to go here in the season. So we got a tight championship battle here between two drivers. We got a couple of drivers that still are mathematically eligible. So it's going to be fun watching those drivers try to fight to stay in contention going into the finale and the two battling it out neck and neck for the win or the championship at the end of the, the season here. We got a stack field here tonight. Almost a full lobby. A great, great amount of cars. Unfortunately, we got some that are missing, but we have a great, great field. Let's go through your starting lineup. We did have a five-lap shootout, too, said the starting grid, thanks to Blam. So let's look at the starting lineup. Jack won the pole position after winning in a spectacular fashion at the five-lap shootout. So Jack's going to roll off on pole. P2 will be Blam. P3 will be Dom, the newcomer. Nice to see him with a great run in the qualifying race. Rashad Metz, really nice spot, or starting position for him. He's going to be really fast during race trim. P5 will be Peter. P6 will be Slinky. P7 will be the driver of the day, Zay Smitty. P8 will be E3. Uh, P9, uh, Dante. Dante's P2 in the points right now, so he's got a lot of ground to make up if he wants to get some points here tonight. Uh, P10 will be Colin McKevitt. P11 will be Javen Tucker. Javen Tucker, the current points leader, starting 11th. So he's got a lot of ground, starting very, very deep in the pack. Um, Coco will start 12th tonight to see him back with us. Um, Gavin Morrison, the hot rookie, will start P13. And Matt Puglio will start 14th, but he did get fastest lap, so he's got something going for him there. And that's going to be your starting lineup. So we really got a really good field here stack full of drivers let's talk to a couple uh, one or two drivers to see how they're feeling going into the event here tonight let's see if we can dial up javen tucker hey javen you're currently the points leader so i know that you got a lot of ground to make up here since you're starting deep in the pack after not the best finish in the qualifying race so how you feeling going into this one and how's the how you feeling about gaining some points uh i don't know how to feel I'm not good at this track and Dante starting ahead of me. And we're both deep in the field, so this could go either way. Well, it's gonna be fun to watch y'all come all over the field, come through the field tonight. So I hope that y'all have a me? Great, great race here tonight. <laughs> so let's uh, see if we can uh, qualify or talk to another driver here. Let's talk to Rashad Metz. He's rolling off P4, so he's got a really nice um, starting position <laughs> here tonight. Uh, let's see if we can find him. Hey Rashad, rolling on P4, got a really nice starting spot. Um, how you feeling going into the race? Um, you do need a really, really good finish here tonight um, in order to stay in championship contention. So how you feeling going into this one? Man, I'm feeling pretty good, you know. Honestly, not as stressed out as I usually am, but I'm super excited to get in this race and go wheel to wheel with some of these guys. Uh, I feel like some way, shape, or form, me and Javen are going to get into it because we just it just happens. And then, uh, yeah, I feel like it's going to be a good race. I'm super excited. You've been really gaining momentum here in the past couple races, been getting podiums, getting some pole positions, and it seems like each week you get a position better. I believe that you were fourth, then third, then second last week, so you think that you can get it done here tonight? Man, I don't know. I'm not really feeling confident about this track car combination. It's not really my best setup here, but I'm going to do my best. Well, good luck for the race tonight. Looking forward to see you run up front. And that's going to be it for our uh, uh, driver interviews. So let's look at our point standings real quick before we get things started. Uh, we got a really tight points battle here tonight, so it's going to be fun with only two races to go. So Javen Tucker is your current point leader. He's 490 points. Dante Cuarto is only four points behind, so whichever one finishes ahead of the other will come out with the points lead. Colin McKevitt is currently 64 points back. He needs to finish with or one spot or within one spot of the leader in order to stay in championship contention. So he really needs to finish ahead of those two points leader in order to stay in the championship fight. Uh, Rashad Metz, he's 79 back. So he really, really needs to stay. Um, uh, he really, really needs to stay uh, um, ahead of those other points leaders in order to stay in uh, contention. Um, Slinky's P5. He needs to finish at least three to four spots ahead of the championship leaders in order to stay in this thing. E3 is 97 back. He's unfortunately out, and everyone behind him is unfortunately at. Matt is um, P7. Gavin is eighth in points. Jack is ninth. Nicholas Collar, who's not with us this week, he'll see us next week, is P10. 11th is Landon Beach, who's fixing his PlayStation, possibly. Um, Zay Smitty, driver of the day, is 12th in points. Blam is P13. Uh, CJ is 14th. 15th is Coco. And uh, 
16th is Peter Peter, um, 17th is Dom, and 18th is Vlid, who has not been seen for the past couple races, so he's probably gotten uh, stolen by the KJ or KJB. So it's um, it's we got a, it's a, one of the drivers just having some technical difficulties, so we're gonna give him a, a quick second in order to get back into the lobby here. But man, we got a really fun race here stacked up, so it's gonna be fun to see what can happen. 18 laps is going to be a great shootout here. Strategy is going to play a great, great, uh, a great uh, event, or it's going to play out really, really nicely here. Will these drivers try to two-stop it for tires, change tires twice, or will they try to one-stop and stay out to the end? Will they try to take fuel, or will they just try to save fuel throughout their stints in order to run toward the end? So this can be really interesting to see the variety and strategies that we're going to see here tonight um a lot of different things that very much could happen but man we have a really 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 good field here tonight with a lot of variety of cars it's really surprising to see how much uh, variety of cars we got a lot of different cars i figured that we see a lot of duplicates but um still a lot of a lot of different ones uh some older grade two cars and some newer grade two cars now next week will not be a points playing race next week will be the all-star race at bb raceway we will be back in the strictly stock series cars for that all-star race so it's going to be fun to see what those drivers can do now if in order to be eligible for that race drivers have to have either won in this season or the previous season or be a previous champion in any series to be eligible. If not, all these other drivers will have a chance to race that we're in via the GTO All-Star Race Open. Um, and there will be some money up for grabs. Slinky will actually be donating $10 to the winner in order to buy a Blizzard from Dairy Queen. So that's really grateful for him. We're all, all thankful for everything that Slinky does here for the league. So it's going to be nice to see um, a good, hopefully we get, get a good turnout for the all-star race now after that we will be at blue moon bay speedway for the 94.3 the dude 100 the championship race back at blue moon yet again with the strictly stock series cars again so that's going to be another fun fun race to watch it's always fun to watch those cars go at it there and that will be a tire wear race so it's going to be fun to see how strategy plays into it there um so we're still waiting on a one driver to gain or get back in the lobby if we can get him back in here uh let's see if we can hopefully he'll join within a couple seconds got some drivers practicing on the racetrack right now drivers have been practicing throughout the day today so a really really fast lap is about in the 138 since she gavin morrison currently has the fastest lap on track right now Tucker's been really, really fast. A lot of these guys that are fast are starting deep, deep in the fuel. So it's going to be interesting to see those guys try to work their way through traffic, work their way through the slower cars, get up front to try to get a good points finish because it's crunch time right now. Only got one more race after this to go in the points paint championship. And um, Gavin is back. So hopefully he'll be able to get in this lobby and we will be able to get things back to going here in a second. So I believe we're going to have 14 cards in the race tonight. So almost a stack pack, minus one car. It's going to be nice to see what will happen. Also, uh, make sure to check out our Instagram page. Follow us on Instagram for point standings, updates, and more. Um, DM us if you want to join and everything. And also, uh, make sure to subscribe to us, our YouTube channel. And just make sure that uh, the subscribe to us. Give us some likes. Make sure that we're doing everything good. Uh, so... We can keep doing the stuff that we like and uh, give us some suggestions. If you have any co comments and concerns, um, let us know. Or our ears are open, and we are let ready to see uh, what y'all have to say. And we're starting to put together a s schedule for next season. Uh, we're most likely going to be returning to the Mets Painting Champion Series uh, by popular vote. So um, as long as everyone agrees upon that, we will put together a little mock schedule and hopefully be back within a month or two. Uh, give everyone a little bit of a break and then be back to points racing yet again for another championship race. Now, um, if 
one other thing that we'd like to talk about. If Rashad Metz falls out of championship eligibility here tonight, then we will crown a brand new champion no matter who wins the championship because Rashad Metz is the only previous champion. He's a two-time champion, the only champion that's still eligible for the title this season. So it's going to be interesting to see if he can – you have a really nice points finish tonight. And he needs to really finish ahead of those guys and have another good week next week. So he's got a lot of things to get get in, get in, straight in order to get this thing put away. Uh, as Gavin has entered back in the room, and as long as we are ready to go, let's go trackside to get this thing going if we can. 14 of some of the best online drivers ready to go at it here at the Daytona Road Course. The qualifying race was on the oval, so a lot different style of racing than we're going to see here during the road or the road race. But it's going to be fun to see what happens. As let's see if we can get this broadcast going here, get the race started. Some drivers getting their final final uh, practice laps here before we start the race. One, might, one guy you might want to keep an eye on, Gavin Morrison. He's starting a little deep in the pack, but he said the fastest lap throughout pra uh, a couple practice sessions throughout the afternoon. As it looks like we have finally gotten the broadcast going, and we are track side now. 18 laps for these drivers to negotiate the track here at Daytona. Who can come out with the points lead in this event? Who can have a good finish here tonight? We are ready to get this thing going. As the drivers are ready. And the lights are out, the hammers are down. We are racing at Daytona for the Mets Painting Champion Series. Ooh, big problems in the back of the pack already. Somebody did not get going there. It was slinky. Plus the wheel spun a bunch off the line. Jack Dobbs going for the lead and turn one though, goes way wide. He's gonna take the lead on the outside. No, door by door still for the lead. A lot of fighting in the back of the pack. Ooh, it looks like we got people in the grass. Gavin way off a line. As we got a lot of tough battling here. Oh, Rashad Metz gets tagged from behind. He's off in the grass. He's going to lose a ton of track position. Really unfortunate turn of event there for Rashad Metz. He's going to merge back in traffic. He lost almost 10 spots there. Dom still battling for the lead, though. Is there side by side as they go through the second horseshoe? Now they're going to make the hard left turn here onto the high banking that the NASCAR Cup Series and all other series use. As the cars are starting to get strung out a little bit now. Jack's hanging on to the lead though, but Dom is close behind. Can't Dom have a good strategy tonight? See if he can come out with his first career win. He sends it in the bus stop right behind Jack. Couple car lengths separate them now as they go around the turns three and four of the oval. Here goes. Look at Dante already up to P5. So is Tucker. Tucker's right behind him. They have gained over five spots since the start of this race. They're side by side now for P5. And the race is side by side for the lead as well. Who's going to come into it on the first turn? They're bumping and banging door to door. Jack spins the tires a little bit coming off of the first turn. Dom looking to the inside. Can he get the power down? Not quite there. Still on his bumper, though. This is a tough, narrow section. Really, really easy to mess up and go into the grass. And if you go into the grass, man, you are stuck. Still knows the tail for this lead battle. As we take a look back from the car rear bumper camera. Ooh, little nudge there. He gets into the back of him. 
Now, so many drivers opted to start on mediums, and some of them opted to start on softs. Dom opted to start on softs, while Jack started on mediums. So did Zay. Look at Zay up to P3. Blam and Dante working together. Or... As we take a look at all the cars diving into the chicane on the back straightaway. Some of these drivers in the back of the pack got a lot of ground to make up. Maybe strategy will be able to play a nice hand into it. Battle going on for sixth place now. Matt Puglio looking to get past Javen Tucker. Both of these cars started on medium tires. As they are still going at it for the lead here. Let's take a look at this. Dom looking the inside. He's tried turn after turn to get back Jackson Kevin. He slides past him in the horseshoe. A little bump and a nudge. Got a car off the track back there. I believe that's Ford Wharton. And the Caterpillar car. Dom has taken the lead. The rookie. He's going to grow his lead to a couple car lengths there. Will he be able to hold on to with those soft tires? Side by side back here for P8. Slinky up some spots after not a good start there. Ooh, board a little sideways there trying to get the power down onto the banking part. He's going to slide up high. That's going to open the door for Slinky to slip past him on the inside. Dante looks to the inside of Zay for P3 on the back stretch. Dante really wants that points lead going into the final event. And he sure is gaining some time on the leaders. But what a race right? Zay Smitty, he's been in the top five for a little bit here. So nice to see him running up front. So Dom has pulled away a little bit. We got a good race here. Dante to the inside of Zay. They're still side by side battling. This allows for Tucker and Matt Puglio to go in. Oh, the two by two going into turn one. Matt gets pushed a little wide. Able to get it sorted out though. Zay comes out with P3 again. Tucker and Matt still battling side by side as they go into the horseshoe. Ooh, a little bump and nudge by Matt as he goes to the inside. Oh, he gets some help. Tucker got in the bat of Mac a little bit there. Able to get it all sorted out. The two points leader still knows the tail yet again. This is the battle that you got to keep an eye on. Tucker looking to the inside of Dante. They're side by side. Tucker going to try a little crossover move. Entering the banking. Looks like Dante gets a little loose. They both get a little loose as they try to get the power down to get the best run they can. Really a tough corner to keep the momentum up on. Try to get that power down going on to the oval part of the racetrack. As they dive down into the chicane. Still battling hard for that P5 spot. Let's take a look back in the field a little ways and see if there's... Dom has been pulling away here on those soft tires. But it seems that like he might be using up a little bit more gas than everyone else. I wonder if someone's trying to save some fuel to try to stay out as long as they can. Will they try to play the long run? Rashad Metz tried to play the long run last week. He probably stayed out at least one lap a little extra. Ended up costing him at the end there. Ooh, Blam goes a little wide there. That's going to open the door for a couple cars to slip to his inside. Beautiful shot here as they go through the horseshoe. Side by side battles all over the racetrack. Matt looking to get past Zay for the third spot here. Once they get past him, will they be able to get, roll down on the leaders? He does. Matt able to slip past Zay. What a drive by Zay Smitty so far. As the two points leaders are still going at it. 
Gavin Morrison with a crazy fast lap, a 138-1, faster than we've seen in practice all day long. That's a crazy lap. Whoever does get fastest lap will also get one bonus points. One point may not seem like a lot, but it adds up in this tight championship battle. As Zay looks back to the inside of Matt, he really wants to hang on to that podium spot. These two leaders are loving to see these guys battle behind them. They are able to keep pulling away as Jack McKevitt has pulled about a three point. Oh, I think we have some contact there. Someone probably in the grass there. Matt's back up to P11. Slinky must have had something happen there. Slinky way back. I think he got reset. That is not good for Slinky there. He's trying to stay in championship contention. He really needs to finish multiple spots ahead of those leaders with the points. And if he stays where he's at, he's not going to be able to get it done. But it looks as though Jack McKevitt is starting to track down Dom a little bit. I wonder if Dom's trying to save some gas or something. But look at all these cars under a blanket. Ooh, bumping and banging. Zay gets pushed. Two, three wide back there for the podium spots. What a battle here. Inside the top five. Morrison now in the mix. He's trekked his way through the field. Pulling up the P3. Zay trying to get to the inside. Tucker right on the bumper of Zay Smitty. Five cars nose the tail. As you see, day is breaking over the horizon, so this track is definitely going to heat up. Get a little bit more greasy. Ooh, Matt with a defensive line. Barely slid in front of him. As they're going to go through the chicane. Who can get a run on the bunch front straight away? Massive run by Gavin Morrison up the P5. Ooh, as Jack has slipped past Dom for the race lead. One of those softs are starting to give out a little bit more. Some of these drivers are trying to use draft to save some gas. Oh, Dom has went around. Some contact, I believe. He is going to lose multitude of spots. Oh, he merges back in the traffic. Contact between Javen Tucker and Don or Dante. A lot of drivers got wadded up there. Not a good thing. Whoa, as Tucker gets booted again. Tucker lost a lot of spots there. Not good at all. But I tell you one thing, Gavin Morrison sure is starting to track down these leaders. So is Matt Puglio. Can Jack McKevitt hang on? He was able to win the pole. Now I've got some ground to make up. After that incident there, it was one of the fastest cars on the racetrack. And Javen now has some ground to make up if he wants to finish ahead of Dante to keep his points lead. About 11 minutes into the race. Getting close to halfway here. I wonder if we're going to see these drivers. Some drivers may try to split the, split the race right down the middle. As Matt is cutting down that lead as they go around the oval section. But Gavin Morrison is looking to get past Matt. So you're a little bump and a nudge going into turn one. Gavin Morrison on softs, but they are a little bit more worn than Matt's. He's to the inside in the horseshoe. Here comes the crossover move from Pulio, though. What a race here for P2 side by side. Morrison able to take P2. Zay still in P4, though, if you look a little while back. Dante battling hard for him. And Tucker trying to get Pat back what he lost there. Dom to the inside of Dante for P5. But the battle's on for P3. 
that these guys are starting to gain a lot of time here on the leader if they can work together and utilize the draft. Morrison currently the fastest car on the racetrack. The fastest time last time around was in fact Gavin Morrison. Some beautiful camera shots here. Wonder if some of these cars will start to get a little bit better as the run goes along. Due to the track temperature starting to rise with it being daytime, I wonder if... if we see some of these drivers act to go to pit lane as we are at the halfway point of the race here. As Dante has dove on the pit, rain, look, or pit lane, it looks like he's gonna opt to be the first one to pit lane. I think he is the only taker. And it looks like Blam's gonna go as well. Blam and Dante Collins gonna get the hit the pits as well. How will pit strategy? Who is gonna try to stay out the longest? All those drivers are trying are really seeing that those worn softs are really able to keep up with the leaders, if not run the leaders down on those mediums. So I wonder if some of those guys are gonna swap. Man, they make their mandatory compound switch to these softs for the second half of this race. As Morrison is steady tracking down the leader. As Tucker's trying to slip past Dom here. A couple cars under a blanket here. E3 looking at the inside of Coco. That's back up into the top 10 after the early race incident. Dante is the first one out on fresh tires. How will strategy play into this thing? Will anyone opt to come to pit lane this time? As we look back in the pack, a little fake there by Dom. I guess he was trying to make him think. Javen Tucker's going to opt the pit this time, though. He was in the top five. Zay, ooh, a little nudge there to the back of Dom. He's going to send Dom way wide. Dom's hard into the outside wall. It's just Dom to lose a lot of spots. This moves Zay up. Uh, there's some contact there between the two drivers. That is... As Morrison has got the lead down to about a second. How long will Morrison opt to stay out on these soft tires? Will fresher tires be that much faster at the end? You don't need to take that much fuel. Can Morrison pull off his first career win here tonight? It'd be a fun one to see. And Javen cycled out just behind Dante. And he's about to pass him here. So what a pit strategy there from Tucker. Put him on the same exact page as Dante Cuarto. These two points leaders about ready to battle it out to the end here to see who can, will be on top of the point standings going into the final event in two weeks at Blue Moon Bay Speedway. As they're side by side going into the chicane, Tucker will have the preferred line. He's going to back off a little bit. They're going to go at it again in the next couple of turns. Morrison has caught the leader down to five tenths. Dom off to the pit. Ooh, Morrison a little wide there. It's going to cause him to lose some time. How long will these guys try to stay out? Will those fresh softs make that big of a difference come the end of this race? Gavin Morrison gonna take a look at it again. 
These more softs have been really, really nice at keeping up with this leader. I've been really surprised on how these softs have been doing this morning, this late in a run. 11 laps on these tires now for Gavin Morrison, and he is still about the fastest lap on the racetrack. The last lap around was a 138.6. So constantly in the 138s the last couple laps. So really, really fast lap times from him. They dive into the chicane. Morrison trying to get this lead here. He's got the slipstream. Can he make a run going through the trioval here? Got it down to three tenths now. He's within striking distance. Half a car length knows the tails. They go through the final turn. Morrison side by side now for the lead. E3 dives to the pit lane. They're side by side going into the horseshoe. Morrison tries to make it work around the outside. Not quite able to make it work. Struggling to get the power down. Still side by side. Morrison slides in behind now. Matt starting to gain a lot of time on these two battling now. All these guys have not pitted yet. The first one out on fresh tires is Javen Tucker in P7. Will Tucker be able to cycle ahead? of these guys when they pit. Slinky has set the fastest lap of the race with a 138 flat. What a lap by him. These guys on fresh tires are not setting the laps that they really, really want to. These guys on the worn tires are actually setting a little bit better and more consistent laps than these guys on fresher tires. Whoa, and they bump contact between Jack and Morrison. Jack gets punted out of the lead. The steward's going to have to take a look at that one. That's going to put Morrison in the lead, but man, I bet you Jack is not happy after that. Some heavy, heavy contact going into the, the chicane. And Morrison is going to take... The, he's going to pull on a pit road. So is Matt Polio. All these guys pitting here. So is Jack McKevitt. Zay Smitty comes to the lead or it comes to the pit road. Coco is going to stay out. He's going to inherit the lead now. Coming down the five laps to go. Who can get it done? Yeah, Morrison cycle out in front of these these other guys on fresh tires. They do it. Morrison cycles out in front of Dante and Javen and all of them. But Morrison is on those mediums and Matt is on sauce, which he found that sauce are faster as they get worn throughout the run. So can these guys string some laps together? Oh, some heavy smoke out of Coco. That's going to allow Morrison to slip past them for P2. Morrison is the first car on fresh tires. Can he get some cars between them? Morrison right where he wants to be in order to take home his first career win. Slinky staying out on the racetrack. With Slinky's strategy here, he's the longest car that stayed out other than Coco. Him and Coco have both stayed on the racetrack. Looks like Coco's going to dive in the pit lane this time around. Tucker's going to move up in the P4. Dante right behind him, though. Mm -hmm. 
Slinky's still the leader, but he has not pitted yet. About four laps to go. We're getting down to the end of this thing. But man, Pulio is gaining a lot of time here on Morrison. Can Morrison hang on to P2? This will be the battle for the lead whenever Slinky comes into the pits. Tucker and Quarto trying to gain time on these leaders. About five seconds back right now, so they got a lot of ground to make up, but they are on the same straightaway. So if they can get within slipstream range. Seems like Julio's faster in one turn and Morrison's faster in the next turn. Slinky's still staying out on the racetrack. I wonder how long he's going to try to run this thing. Julio starting to gain a little bit of time on him. Ooh, Julio. Morrison off in the grass. That's going to open the door for Julio. Julio now within striking distance. Got it down about six tenths. As Julio goes, or Morrison goes wide. They're side by side. That's going to allow Julio to slip past for P2. Not the mistake that Morrison needed. Purple sector by Javen Tucker there. A lot of good battles going on throughout the pack now. So many drivers having a tough day back in the back. Couldn't really quite get the track position they needed. So Linky still got about a three, three second lead, but they are gaining a lot of time. Matt Shirley is running down Magic Slinky here. So we're closing in on about three laps to go. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Who's gonna be able to come out on top? Tucker starting to gain some time on these leaders now. Does everyone else have enough gas to make it to the end? They go through the horseshoes. Beautiful camera shot here. Two points leader, been nose to tail pretty much the whole night. Day has been back and forth throughout the field. Currently back in 12th, but man, he was up on the podium for a long time there to start this thing. So hopefully he'll be able to gain some spots to come the end of this race. As Matt's currently got the lead down to about two seconds. Wonder when Slinky's gonna opt to pull this thing on the pit road. Slink or Matt just said a purple sector there. Morrison trying to stay within striking distance because he knows this will be the race for the win with Matt Pulio. Pulio started dead last in this race. If he can pull off a win here, that would be an amazing feat. Down to under two seconds now. Woo, Matt, Matt with a big mistake coming out of that corner there. He's going to lose some time to Morrison. Let's take a look on the end car camera of Morrison here.
drivers hide down force cars, but man, they're having the wheel and the feather the throttle try to get the power down off of the corner. Dom is off the racetrack in one of the horseshoes again. Not the best race for him so far. He emerges back in the traffic. Um, he's man, he was running up front, started fourth. Unfortunately, has fallen back after some early race incidents. The other mistake there is going to cost him, unfortunately. Man, we're coming up to the last lap here. The white flag is in the air for these drivers. Who's going to be able to bring home the win? Is Slinky going to try to pull his crazy strategy move here? I wonder if he's trying to pit on the very, very last lap and make his tire swap. I don't know if that's... Well, these drivers getting close on fuel, though. Will they have enough gas to make it to the end? Julio's within striking distance. Trying to get past Slinky. So is Morrison. Julio's searching for another win. Morrison a little wide there. I think Slinky, I think Pulio's within the toe of Slinky now. As they head into the backstretch chicane for one more time, will they be able to bring it home? Huge amount of time gain, massive run there by both Gavin and Pulio. Who's going to be able to get it? Slinky to the line. He's going to finish P1. Matt Puglio's P2 after starting dead last. Morrison, P3. P4, Javen Tucker. P5, Dante. P6, Jack. P7 is going to be E3. P8 will be Blam if he's going to complete the time here. Yes, he does. And he's going to take a little shortcut here, do a little agricultural racing. P8 for Board Wharton, P9 for Dom, top 10 finish, Coco 10th, Colin McKevitt 11th, Rashad Metz, and Zay battling out for P12. And we did, sorry we must have missed Slinky there pitting, but he pitted P4 and he comes out on top. What a win for Magic Slinky. Let's talk to tonight's winner. Here, let's see if we can dial up Slinky. What's up, Slinky? Congratulations on the win, man. Your pitch strategy was so good, we even missed it. So, man, how was it oh. able to bring home that win here tonight? What a strategy, man. You barely hang on to that one as we see you celebrating in victory lane. Uh, I, I knew those softs lasted longer than usual, but I had to really, really stretch those out. Last two laps, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, other drivers are in my ear. Um, Goodness, having bald tires for the last two laps and seeing Matt closing on me uh, really put the pressure on. Thought I could hold on to the fastest lap, but congratulations to Jack. Took that from me. I think my uh, championship run is officially over, but very, very happy to get the win today. Congratulations. I believe you finished enough spots ahead of um, Dante and Tucker to be able to uh, oh, uh, stay in go! mathematically eligibility. So I believe that you will still have a shot come Blue Moon, but you're going to – it will be a long shot, but Ooh, I think that you're still within uh, – oh points contention so congratulations on yet another win here tonight man what a finish thank you congratulations thank you. um let's talk to your p2 finisher here tonight let's see if we can uh dial up p2 finisher matt pulio let's see if we can find him man pat or matt you almost had it there at the end saying so close we're within a couple car links um how was the race and how was the car
Yeah, congratulations on P2. Man, what a race. <laughs> see, yeah, see you next week. Congratulations on P2. And um, let's talk to the one final driver, um, Gavin Morrison, who finished uh, P3. Let's see if we can talk to, let's see if we can find Gavin. Hey, what's up, Gavin? You finished P3. Uh, man, it looked like you were going to get the win there for a while, man. You were racing up front, um, but still an excellent, excellent podium here, man. You've been stringing together some good finishes, so how was the race here tonight? Felt pretty good. Uh, felt r good running with Matt throughout the entire race from back to the front. Uh, felt bad for net coding into Jack there when we were battling for the lead. But congratulations on a podium, and man, that was a great, great run by you. Um, let's see if let's run through the finishing order real quick. Slinky brings home yet another win here tonight. He's gonna finish P1. Matt Polio will finish P2. Uh, P3 will be Gavin Morrison, the rookie. P4 will be Javen Tucker. He's going to hang on to the points lead, maybe even stretch it a little bit more going into the finale. Um, Dante Cuarto is going to finish P5. P6 will be Jack McKevitt after starting on pole. Uh, P8 or P7 will be E3. P8 will be Board Wharton. P9 will be Dom. P10 will be Coco. P11 will be uh, Colin McKevitt. And P12 will be Rashad Betts. P13, Zay Smitty. P14 will be... Peter, so what a race here tonight and what a finish. Thank you all for joining us here tonight. Uh, see y'all next week for the All-Star Race. Make sure to get all your friends together for that. Even if you haven't ran in a G2 event, you can still race your way in through the open race so you still have a shot to make the All-Star Race. So it's going to be a great field. A great, great uh, field stack full of talent. The All-Stars of the, ra the league ready to go at it next week. But thank you all for joining us here. It's Magic Slinky, your winner after a monster pitch strategy, wins it here at Daytona. We're going to see you next week. Y'all have a great one. Have a, We'll see you again.